Recently, the Financial Times reported on a new procurement standard issued by the Chinese government. This policy signifies that the Chinese government and state-owned enterprises will gradually abandon the use of CPU chips from American chip manufacturers such as Intel and AMD, while reducing procurement of Microsoft Windows operating system and other foreign database software, encouraging prioritized selection of domestic products. What is the logic behind this policy? And what impact will it have globally? It's important to understand that this move by the Chinese government is not a spontaneous decision. In recent years, the trade tensions between China and the United States have been escalating, especially in the field of technology, where the confrontation between the two sides has become increasingly intense. The suppression of Chinese technology companies by the US government has made the Chinese government realize the strategic importance of the chip industry. Therefore, the Chinese government has put forward the de americanization strategy aimed at reducing reliance on American chips and enhancing the research and development capabilities and market share of domestic chips. Dear audience, welcome back to our channel. This new policy, released during this sensitive period, has indeed attracted widespread attention against the backdrop of increasingly fierce technological competition between China and the United States. With the ongoing escalation of tension between the two countries, technological competition has become even more intense. In recent years, the United States has strengthened restrictions on the export of high-end chips to China through measures such as the implementation of the chip and science law. To counter this external pressure, China is committed to accelerating the growth and development of its domestic technology industry. According to the latest official reports, the Chinese Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology jointly issued an instruction, explicitly directing various levels of government agencies to prioritize the procurement of secure and reliable processors and operating systems when purchasing personal computers, laptops, and servers. In line with this, the China Information Security Evaluation Center also announced a list covering domestic enterprises' secure and reliable processors and operating systems, among which well-known domestic brands such as Huawei and Feiting are listed. In addition to the constraints on CPU chips, the Chinese government is also actively promoting the use of domestic technology to replace Microsoft's Windows operating system and other international database software. This policy aims to promote state-owned enterprises to adopt domestic technological solutions, thereby accelerating the localization process. This trend may have significant implications for U.S. companies, particularly those with significant business interests in the Chinese market, such as Intel and AMD, as well as Microsoft, which has a significant presence in the Chinese market. In recent years, the Chinese government has continuously introduced a series of policies and regulations aimed at promoting the rapid growth of the domestic technology industry. From a comprehensive perspective, these new regulations are undoubtedly aimed at promoting the development of domestic technology companies in China, helping them to occupy advantageous positions in the increasingly fierce global competition, and thereby accelerating China's transformation towards a self-sufficient technology ecosystem. The Chinese government encourages domestic enterprises to increase their efforts in technological innovation by providing financial subsidies, tax incentives, research and development funding support, and intellectual property protection. At the same time, the government is also committed to optimizing industrial structure, promoting the development of high-tech industries, and providing a broader market space and development platform for technology companies. These measures undoubtedly help stimulate the innovation vitality of Chinese technology companies and enhance their competitiveness in the global market. However, China's rapid development in the field of technology and government support may also exacerbate the technological competition and confrontation between China and the United States to some extent. The United States has long been a global leader in technological innovation, with numerous world leading technology companies and research institutions. With the strengthening of China's technological strength, competition in certain areas has become particularly intense. For example, in key technological fields such as 5G, artificial intelligence, and semiconductors, companies from both China and the United States are competing for technological dominance and market control.
Against this backdrop, technological competition between China and the United States is not only a commercial competition at the enterprise level, but also involves strategic games related to national security and international status. The United States may take a series of measures to limit the development of Chinese technology companies out of strategic considerations to maintain its leadership position and curb China's rise, including strengthening export controls, restricting Chinese companies' access to the U.S. market, and suppressing the internationalization of Chinese high-tech products. Therefore, although China's new regulations can effectively promote the development of the domestic technology industry, attention should also be paid to the possible international competition and friction they may trigger. China needs to actively participate in international cooperation and exchanges while adhering to independent innovation, seeking and establishing mutually beneficial international cooperation relations to balance and maintain stability and development in the global technology field. This new policy reflects the Chinese government's firm decision to promote technological self-reliance and strengthen national defense capabilities. China is witnessing the growth and development of its domestic technology companies, transforming from followers of technology to leaders of innovation. From domestically developed chips, operating systems, to database management software, China's technological strength is reducing its dependence on foreign technology, embarking on a more independent and controllable path of technological development. Although China's technological progress is remarkable, it still lags behind global technological powers like the United States. At the current stage, China may face challenges in completely replacing foreign advanced technology, which could pose challenges to the stable operation of certain industries. Meanwhile, the intensifying technological competition between China and the United States may not only escalate bilateral tensions, but also potentially lead to further friction and conflicts. Therefore, while promoting the progress of the domestic technology industry, the Chinese government should deepen cooperation with countries worldwide, actively introduce and learn from cutting-edge foreign technologies and valuable experiences. This will help promote technological innovation and industrial transformation. Only by establishing a solid foundation of international cooperation can China more effectively face various challenges from external sources, achieve technological self-sufficiency, maintain national security, and promote sustained economic development. In conclusion, with the intensification of global technological industry competition, international cooperation and trade frictions may coexist. On the one hand, China's new policies may prompt international companies to pay more attention to the importance of cooperation with China, promoting cooperation and exchanges between Chinese and foreign technology companies in areas such as intellectual property rights, research and development investment, and market access, jointly developing new technologies and products, and achieving mutually beneficial situations. On the other hand, Due to geopolitical considerations and concerns about national security, some countries may reassess their dependence on Chinese technology products. For example, the United States and its allies may explore establishing a more independent supply chain system, reducing reliance on specific countries or regions, while increasing investment in key technological areas to ensure the integrity and security of their own industrial chains. In addition, China's new policies may also trigger discussions and restructuring of global regulatory systems for high-tech industries. Governments worldwide may strengthen cross-border regulation of multinational technology companies, formulate new rules and guidelines to protect consumer rights, prevent data abuse, and promote a healthy competitive environment. In such a multipolar international environment, Multinational companies need to flexibly respond to constantly changing policies and market conditions, formulate diversified strategic layouts, balance investment and resource allocation in different countries and regions to minimize risks and seize growth opportunities. In summary, the introduction of the new policy is not only a major adjustment in China's domestic technology industry but also brings new challenges and opportunities to the global technology industry. In the future, the global technology industry will become more dynamically balanced, and cooperation and competition between countries and enterprises will shape a more complex and variable technological landscape. Finally, I summarize today's video, hoping it brings you some inspiration and value. In this context, 
the Chinese government has introduced a new policy requiring government and state-owned enterprises to prioritize the procurement of domestic chips and operating systems. The implementation of this policy will have a significant impact on the global chip market. Firstly, the demand for American chips manufacturers such as Intel and AMD in the Chinese market will significantly decrease, undoubtedly putting tremendous pressure on these companies. At the same time, this also provides rare development opportunities for domestic chip companies. With government support, domestic chip companies are expected to accelerate technological research and development, improve product quality, and gradually replace American chips. The Chinese government also encourages prioritizing the procurement of domestic operating systems, which will impact foreign software such as Microsoft Windows operating system. In the domestic market, domestic operating systems such as Kylin and Galaxy Kylin have already gained a certain market share, but Windows still dominates in the government and state-owned enterprises sector. The implementation of the new policy will help domestic operating systems further expand their market share and enhance international competitiveness. Of course, the implementation of the new policy also faces certain challenges. Currently, there is still a certain gap between domestic chips and American chips in terms of performance and stability, and the ecological construction of domestic operating systems is relatively lagging. Therefore, the government and enterprises need to increase investment, promote the technological research and development of domestic chips and operating systems, improve industrial ecology, and enhance product competitiveness. The Chinese government's new procurement requirements aim to reduce reliance on American chips and operating systems and increase the market share of domestic chips and operating systems. This policy will have a significant impact on the global chip market, bringing development opportunities for domestic chip companies while putting pressure on American chip manufacturers. In today's increasingly competitive global chip industry, the chip situation under China's new policy will undoubtedly become a key variable in future technological development. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. Today's video ends here. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.